Well, hi everybody, and welcome to another vlog. Today we're in the kitchen, aren't we? We are in the kitchen. What we've we been doing in the kitchen? Uh, we've been using our new Mr. D again. Ah, uh, some of you said it'd be used once <laughs> and never see the light of day. Well, we intend to prove you wrong. Today yep. we have we've got the uh, thermal cooker out again. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Look at it. Not plugged in, not on the heat. No. Nope. But we've got a delicious meal cooking in there. It's mm. been on since about half past one, and it's now. What is it now? Quarter past six. So it's nearly five hours. So yeah. that's that's been on mm. for five hours, and we're not quite sure whether that will be enough. What we have in there? What? Well, what do we have in there? We've got some. Potatoes, have Potato, we? Yeah. little tiny potatoes, mm. and on top of that we put a, a lump of lamb. A lump of lamb. lamb and some, it's a half a leg yeah. of lamb. Mm. And some onions and some oxos. And then some onions, yeah. a bit of oxo, and water. And tomato puree, yeah. Bring all that up to the boil. Mm. And, uh, Easy peasy. So yeah. you just stand it on the gas, bring mm. it up to boil. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to bring all that up to the boil. Pop it in the thermal cooker, and, uh, shut the lid, yeah. and then leave it. Mm. We're not sure what it's going to be like because well, we just did it off our own back. Well, I did. We're yeah. all going to find out in about an hour and a half, mm. aren't we? Yes, we are. Because we're yes. going to leave it on there for another hour and a half mm. and, see. and see what yeah. happens yeah. when we open it up. Now... The thing is, this it feels cold outside here, oh. and there's no smell, so you wouldn't know anything's cooking. No. You know, like when you come in and you've got a conventional slow cooker, you can smell it. This the is food. the thing. Yes. This is the thing about, and, and some people have said, mm. "Oh, I couldn't stand mm. all that food cooking smell if I'd been out all day and that's been left cooking." Mm. I agree with that, and I don't like that because the mm. other slow cooker. Mm that we have we still got is it a, yes is an electric one mm. really cheap it just it just is a, mm. a pot with an electric element underneath it mm. and a glass lid mm. so it all sort of bubbles away and the steam comes out mm. and of course that brings out all the food smells yes but i like it i know you don't i like the smell. <laughs> <laughs> well it's nice to have it's food for me. Smelling, I like it, but we yeah. You know, we live, mm. I mean, the kitchen's here, the mm. lounge is right there, mm. and it, you know, you don't always no. want no, all your too, food but... smells mm. completely all over your home. Mm. And that's what you get. When we used to use the other slow cooker, mm. we had the awning. Mm. Yeah, we, we, did. we were pretty static yeah. um, in, in terms of our, yes. you know, we called it our field kitchen mm. um, when we were at Blakemere, and we had all the kitchen set up in the awning. Mm. And we used to use that out there at this time of year. It was really mm. good because we can put it on there, yes. you know, go to work all day, come back and mm. have a nice sort of warming meal on, on a cold sort of autumn, winter evening. Really good. Mm. It was really good. Yeah, not so great no. when you're in an enclosed space, no, I don't no, think, I is it? No, I suppose it's not. No, so, no. But this, Mr. D's cooker, mm. the mm. thermal cooker, it's all sealed in. Mm. And only when you open it, can you smell the the food, mm. which is just as nice, I yeah. think. Mm. Hopefully this just will it, be, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We've got no idea. You can't so, stir it or anything like that because you no. let the heat out. So you've just got so, to trust, trust what, what, in the slow... The here's thing. the thing. We don't know what's happening in that cooker, no. do we? We have no idea. We don't know whether the meat's cooking, whether the potatoes are burning, whether, you know, mm. you know we don't know. So we're going to find out in about an hour and a half. Yes. <laughs> and let's, I think we'll just um, play a bit of time warp here. Yes. <laughs> and we'll switch over to an hour and a half oh, later. Right. One and a half hours later, <laughs> here we are with the uh, thermal cooker. Yep. Right here. Let's just rearrange the camera so that we can see mm. what's going on. I'm so hungry. I hope so the, it's good. So the thermal cooker's there. 
And what we do is we just leave that over there, open it up, and this is the first time we've opened it since, oh. well, six hours ago. Yeah. And we're gonna use a little fork to get out. So there's a, there's a glass lid inside, and we'll put that to one side. Ooh. And we're gonna, oh. Mm. Nope. It is not cooked at all. No. Oh dear. I can tell that. Oh, and um, it's not hardly warm. Maybe we didn't put oh. enough heat on it. But here it is. Well, let's just get you up here. So you'll be able to tell by the squidginess of the meat there. That is not cooked one bit. So, well, you can see there. That hasn't cooked at all, and I think it's because we didn't, and the, the potatoes are not cooked at all either. Disaster! Oh. I'm gutted, gutted, aren't you? I'm so hungry <laughs> now. That's it then. That is a complete disaster. Yep. But <laughs> you're saying it is live, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take that back out of there. Put it in our oven, aren't we? No, nope. we're going to put it back on the gas, heat it up again, and um, we'll probably have something else for dinner. Yeah. We'll knock up something quick. But that's, <laughs> I think that's got to have a bit more water in it and a bit more boily going on. And then we can leave it overnight. It's, All right. a, it's an unmitigated disaster, yes, but this is what it is. Mm. Uh, you know, mm. we, we're not used to how to use it. No. Um, we, you see, we didn't follow a recipe. We just chuck things no. in and hope for the best. We're a bit like that. We like mm. to sort of try things out our own way. Yeah, it's, it's hardly hot on top. It's not. No, but that's because there wasn't enough heat no, no. when it went in. We didn't leave it on the cooker for long enough. There was a massive piece of meat. I'm wondering if that had the effect of it. Yeah, maybe. But we'll... <laughs> we'll learn. We'll give you an update on it um, anyway. But there we are. That's the thermal cooker disaster for the day. <laughs> if you've enjoyed that little rambling about yeah. thermal cookers, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to follow our journey as we travel around the UK and Europe, mm. living full time and trying to eat in our motorhome, <laughs> 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 then why not consider subscribing? Yeah. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click yeah. the bell icon to get notifications of all the new and upcoming features in YouTube. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Bye.